Hey, hey, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. Are you ready for another message? Come on in and get comfortable. Put your feet up, get your blanket, a pillow, something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to. Put in the earbuds, kick back, and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. Hey, Taurus. This is Dana. What's going on, you guys? What's going on? We're going to do a little something, something for the end of the week, all right? little something, something for the end of the week. Um, if you're new to the channel, come on in. Welcome to the tribe. Subscribe, right? If you like it here, subscribe so you can come back, all right? Those of you who are coming back again, come on in. Come on in. Let's talk about some things. Let's talk about some things, Taurus. Let's see what these cards have to say, all right? All right, let's dive into this. It's going to work the way that it always works. I'm going to shuffle and pray. I'm going to lay out, ooh, the King of Cups. I'm going to lay out 15 cards, at least 15 cards. I'm going to uh, talk about it as a clarify it and sew together a story. I will probably confuse the heck out of you for a good minute. So just stick with me and I will go back to the top and read the whole thing to you again. I cannot make this up. King of Cups trying to come out again. Again, Taurus. Again. All right, let's do this. Also, y'all need to know, y'all need to know, I am having a flash sale. <laughs> the first time ever flash sale that I have ever had. I'm going to offer for the next couple of days a 45-minute reading for 75 bucks, and I'm going to offer a 30-minute reading for 50 bucks. okay? So if you want a 30-minute, kind of quick, not too deep touch on things, 30 minutes should do you 50 bucks. If you want a little bit of a deep or something, something, 45 minutes for 75 bucks will do you. So that link only, only for this video, that link is in the description box below. All right. Because I know times are tough, Taurus. Times are tough. And if y'all need some help, I'm willing to take a little bit of a hit if y'all need some help. And you know, quite honestly, I could use the extra money. Look at that. The Ace Cups. Gosh, this is going to be a good one, Taurus. You ready? Let's do it. Spirit. Source. Universal energy. I have the collective of Taurus with me here. And they want to know what you know. What do you know about Taurus? And what does Taurus need to know and understand about themselves, their lives, and their futures? Spirit. Please arrange yourself in the way that you need to be seen to bring Taurus the information that they need to know. What's in their best and highest good? And most importantly, how do they navigate through it to get their spirit? Please give me the eyes to see it. Oh, no. The eyes to see it, the ears to hear it, and the words to explain it. Tell me where that stopping point is. Okay, right there. All right, let's do it. I hope you guys have enough light down there. Let's go. One, two, three. One, two, and three. Bottom of the deck, the Ten of Wands in reverse. Okay. Two. Seven of Wands, the World in reverse, Princess of Cups, King of Pentacles. We'll take the Seven of Cups, the Tower, and the Eight of Swords as well. Oh, and the Ace of Swords. we got to take that. All right. Let's do it. First card out. Ouch. The Two of Cups in reverse. What was that King of Cups and that Ace of Cups all about that was trying to come out here? Let's see. All right. Two of Cups in reverse to the Four of Pentacles, the Sun, the Devil in reverse, and the Six of Cups. The Fool in reverse, the Ten of Swords, Death in the center of the reading, the Chariot, the Nine of Wands in reverse, the Princess of Pentacles, the Princess of Wands in reverse, the Five of Swords, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Nine of Cups, the Star in reverse, the Three of Pentacles in reverse, Prince of Wands in reverse, the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, Three of Swords in reverse, the Moon in reverse, and the High Priestess. Woo! Fire, the Hierophant in reverse. Fire, fire, fire. And then the Queen of Cups and the Two of Wands and the King of Swords. All right. Hoo-wee! Let's do this, you guys. Let's do this. We're going to use the little Baby Rider Weight cards today. 
All right, so the Two of Cups in reverse, right? Uh, this is an inviolable relationship, an unviable relationship. Tell me about this Two of Cups, please. What does this mean for Taurus right here? What is an unviable relationship? Well, the Four of Wands in reverse in the Tower, okay? So Four of Wands in reverse is not real stable, steady, or, or, or solid, and the Tower is obviously not that either and then the four of pentacles to the page of wands okay tell me about this tell me about the page of wands okay taurus all right here's what's going on okay all right so the two of cups in reverse is the first card out it talks about a, a some kind of broken relationship in your life all right the four of wands in reverse comes on top of this and talks about talks about missing some kind of connection okay some kind of stabilizing connection in your life so this relationship that is broken was at some point some kind of stabilizing connection in your life and because it's broken the tower right it's broken it's crumbled it didn't have or doesn't have some kind of foundation to be built upon um, it's causing there's something missing because of it okay there's something missing because of it and we're we're i'm gonna tell you the whole story okay there's something missing okay the devil in reverse major arcana just like the tower right says that you need to release some kind of limiting beliefs some kind of of of, of an attachment that is a restriction to your growth and as we find out in just a second it's a mindset okay um the six of swords in reverse says it's baggage it's holding you back it's occupying space that you need to grow something else it's holding you back two of wands your future it's holding you back right Okay, the Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles is about um, stability, okay? Stability in your sense of well-being. Look, the Page of Wands, some kind of effort, maybe in the form of a message, okay? Some kind of effort to the Nine of Cups um, that is wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, and satisfaction. And the Two of Pentacles talks about balancing so what does this say it says in order for you to be running on all four cylinders Taurus in order for you to have this thing that's missing because of this relationship okay um, in order to plug in that that piece and be stable in your sense of overall well-being this needs some attention. This broken relationship needs some attention from you. That's why the tower is about sudden change, okay? There needs to be a change in life in general, okay? The page of wands, the nine of cups, and the two of pentacles. Wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, satisfaction. What has to happen? Something has to change with that page of wands. There needs to be a spark of inspiration to do something right and the two of pentacles says balance this out and prioritize this so this space that is being occupied by this thing that you have locked inside of you can be used to grow your life instead of just vacant unused land okay the sun see very clearly the path to happiness success and vitality the way that you are going to get what you want out of life the devil in reverse is to release your limiting beliefs about a situation i'm going to tell you what that is okay release some limiting beliefs because the devil in the upright is an attachment that is a restriction to your growth right that means that your flesh is holding on to something and you're not really you, you don't really care see look at that devil right there right look at that devil those people chained to his feet they are so deliciously engulfed in the experience that they don't even realize that they're chained to the foot of an attachment that will restrict their growth as long as they stay in this position okay in the reverse it's about the releasing of that releasing limiting beliefs what are the limiting beliefs well it's whatever 
thing that you have to come to terms with here. You have to let go of a certain way that you're thinking about it, okay? All right. Um, the Four of Swords clarified the sun for me. This is coming to terms in your mind, okay? Coming to terms with your mind, bringing stability to your mindset, just like that Four of um, Wands back here, right? Four is the number of stability. In the reverse, it's unstable energy. Four of Wands, unstable energy being not, not, not able to, missing, that missing something, okay? Devil in reverse, release your limiting beliefs. What are the limiting beliefs? Well, the, the okay, the sun, all right? See very clearly, four of swords, bring clarity and stability to your mindset. Brings clarity and stability to your mindset. Where am I? The magician, okay? The magician, because something is, is manifesting into your life. It's manifesting into your life, the, the, the next phase, the next direction, the next steps in your life, whoever this is for, the next steps in your life are trying to form, okay? But you have to clear your mindset and release some kind of thing that you are just, it's just like we would say down here in the South, just stuck in your craw. It's just something that is just, you just have a problem with it. All right. The emperor comes on top of the magician and talks about you being in control of yourself. It talks about you being the bigger person in this situation. It talks about you being absolutely in control of yourself because that's what the emperor does, right? The emperor would never hold a grudge. He, he just, he, he, he can't hold a grudge. He, it would be like, I don't know, uh, what can y'all identify with? King Solomon in the Bible holding a grudge, right? You, you can't do that. Um, when you're when you're grown and soulful and and moving forward in your life and awakening and learning and and unboxing your mind, right? You can't hold grudges because it causes this occupation that we were talking about over there. The occupation of this place inside of you. It might be super small and it might be shoved down way far, but it is. Uh, what is that? One bad apple spoils the whole damn bunch, right? It needs to be cleared out. So whoever this is for, whoever is healing and growing and on their journey here, what these cards want you to know is that they need you to get control of yourself and act like you are the ambassador to your soul's journey on this planet, okay? And that's what we are. If we can merge, if we can merge the soul with the flesh, right? everything would just be popping, but that's really, really, apparently really hard to do, okay? So what they're asking you to do here in this emperor card is to get control, okay? Remember who you are, right? The emperor came from the empress, the empress from the high priestess, the high priestess from the magician, right? Remember who you are. You got all of that going for you, okay? There is a rotting piece inside of you that needs your attention, Okay. All right. Devil in reverse. Release your limiting beliefs about what? Ten of swords in reverse. Some kind of grudge. Some kind of grudge. Have renewal of some kind of mindset that is based in betrayal or deception and pain. Okay. The wheel in reverse because it's blocking you. It's, it's blocking the forward motion of everything. It's blocking this manifestation. Okay. So somebody here needs to heal something in their life. So the next phase, the next leg of the journey can manifest into reality. But the universe, the universe has a blockage and they won't go against your free will. So if your free will keeps holding on to this rotten spot, knowing that it's rotten, but keep holding on to this rotten spot, um, there's nothing they can do for you, right? Everybody's just hanging back and be like this. And the second you turn your vibes towards what the universe wants for your life according to the to the tapestry of the fabric of the universe and the part that you play in it the second you're like oh right that's when it all comes to you that's when you manifest it into your life and if you don't deal with this rotten spot it's going to cause problems for you in your path okay the sun again second time 
best card of the tarot, everybody says. I personally like death, but <laughs> the sun, happiness, success, and vitality, right? The path to it. See clearly that this rotten spot needs attention. What's this rotten spot, you might ask? Well, it's the Six of Cups, okay? It's the Six of Cups. This is about family, home, nostalgia, memories, okay? The Six of Cups on top of it, clarifying it, talks about reunion and reconciliation, okay? The two of these together, together, tell me that this is family, okay? Family. Five of Pentacles in reverse. This is he healing some kind of abandonment. To the Page of Wands, a message. And the Empress in reverse. Taurus, I think this is your mom. That's why I'm calling this reading, Call Your Mom. I really think that this reading is for a Taurus that has beef with their mother. Mm -hmm. I do. I really do. And I think this rotten spot, this little rotten spot that they need you to clean out, I think it is your relationship with your mom, right? Whether your mom is alive or whether your mom has transitioned already, um, there is some kind of beef that you have with her and it needs attention. It does. Even if you're adopted, if there's some kind of beef that you have with your with your birth mom or your or your real mom, right? Um, it needs to be addressed, okay? And, and I said that on purpose. Your birth mom, and then there's your real mom. So, okay, all right. So this is I really believe about your mom. So I I want whomever this is hitting home with to kind of take it seriously because it's kind of important for you. All right. The fool in reverse. It's foolish. What's foolish? The lovers in reverse. This rift, this divide between the two of you. To the hermit in reverse. This withdrawn, being withdrawn from each other. There's two aspects to this whole pile of cards, okay? Being withdrawn from each other. The four of cups, um, um, thinking that it will be just fine without this piece of the puzzle. But you need four. Fours are all over this reading. You need four. Four, the emperor is four, by the way. You need four to, to be able to have the foundation for what it is that, you're, that you need to be focusing on the, in the next phase of your life. This needs to be cleared up. To the four of pentacles, okay? Another four. This is stability in your sense of well-being. It is, it is having all four cylinders, right? going at the same time, the four elements of the human nature. All right. Okay. So foolishness, it's, it's foolish, right? This rift between you. Okay. The 10 of swords, um, the pain, the betrayal, the thing that happened between you, even if it is super deep. I mean, even if like your mom was a drug addict or, or um, your mom um, abandoned you or your mom was abusive in some way or didn't protect you somehow um, to just the, the little things like adult, adult arguments or something, right? Um, she doesn't like your husband. You don't like her husband. Whatever, okay? That Six of Swords in reverse is mental baggage that keeps you from sailing, okay? The Seven of Swords, right? Betrayal, deception, screwing someone over, getting screwed over, whatever happened between the two of you. The Lovers, this is about rejoining, reuniting, coming together. It's a significant relationship. It's, it's important for your future. To the Three of Wands, have some foresight. It's have some foresight, get ready to do what needs to be done in order for the veil to be lifted so you can step into what's coming next in your life, okay? Because if you try to step into what's coming next in your life, you're just going to repeat some kind of cycle because if this is still there, nothing's going to change, right? death in the center of your reading. Now, I don't want to freak no one out, all right? I don't want to freak anyone out, but I'm just saying, just uh, just as a side, I can't not say this, okay? Perhaps, 
maybe someone's mom's going to die. Okay, someone's mom's going to die. And these cards are telling you to be the bigger person, reach out and call your mom. Okay, however, from a spiritual perspective, for this person, this card is about massive transformation and ending to what was and a new beginning to what will be. Okay, what's that about for you? Well, the Five of Swords, an ending to resentment, an ending to the feelings of being screwed over. Page of Swords, some kind of message. Either you're going to message them, they're going to message you, you're going to respond to some kind of message from them, even if they don't respond to you. There's something that needs to be said here, but it needs to be said with compassion and empathy because the Empress in reverse, she, who, who represents your mom, she is out of control of herself. So it's almost like they're saying, we know, you know, everyone knows, but it doesn't matter because of the soul tribe connection that we have with each other. Six, double six of cups. I mean, soulmate, right? The soul tribe connection that we have with each other. Um, the flesh gets in the way, right? And, and flesh people make silly, stupid things. And your mother is unhealed from her childhood. I can see that all over here, right here. She's unhealed from her childhood. And could she be whatever she is? And for whatever reason, you got mad and everything? Absolutely. Is it valid? Yes. However, as an emperor, as a spiritual and grown person who sees the world in a different way, who, who experiences life through a soul understanding instead of just a skin and bones understanding, it is your job, it is your job to extend the olive branch and make nice. You don't have to be buddies. You don't have to be buddies. You don't have to be friends. You don't have to start going to her house on Wednesday nights, okay? That's not what these cards are saying. But what they are saying is that something needs to be made amends. And if your mom is already gone to the other side of this, then do it anyway. Write her a letter, sit down with a glass of wine and visualize her on the couch next to you and just let it go. Just let it go. But there's some kind of unresolved angst that this person has with their mom. And it's really important that you get it under control. Okay? All right. All right. Page of Swords. Uh, reach out. Don't reach out. They're going to reach out. So that You guys are going to have an opportunity to communicate. And if they don't reach out to you, you should reach out to them. Like I said, even if it's just to say your piece in a kind, tactful, caring, spiritual way. Not a condescending, passive-aggressive kind of way. Okay? I want to make that clear. Right? Check yourself. Check that flesh with true forgiveness because this person is oblivious to their own woundings that they have not addressed in their life. And it's almost heartbreaking in a way that this person, being your mom, has gone through their whole life and never bothered to heal. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Why? 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 Why all of this? Ten of Pentacles in reverse and the Ace of Cups in reverse. Because your emotional growth is stunted. That's the place that this rotten spot is taking some kind of emotional growth from you. Um, and that's what a grudge will do. The Ten of Pentacles in reverse says you can't build the kind of future that you want to build, particularly if you are building upon your awakening and your new spiritual understanding of things. If you're trying to build a new life based on um, revelations and awakenings, you can't do it until you really, really, really come to terms with this 
with this sore spot that you have. All right. Chariot. Pushing forward, rolling forward, going forward, putting in the self-control, the willpower, and the determination to do what needs to be done. Nine of Wands in reverse. Because avoiding it or defending yourself from it, judgment in reverse, only creates, only creates, it only perpetuates what's already in deficit here. Okay? There's no cure to it if you keep avoiding dealing with it okay all right chariot where's a chariot taking you well the knight of swords some kind of communication and execution to the world that closes down a cycle and opens the door for the new phase in the new cycle of your life to the high priestess healing it brings you healing if you will put in the self-control the willpower and the determination that it takes to be the bigger person, see the situation from a spiritual perspective instead of a flesh perspective, extend an olive branch, speak your peace in a peaceful kind of way, kind, compassionate, empathetic, knowing that this person is unhealed, close the door, and then come what may. But now you're free. You're, you're, you're free. The, the, that, that thins the veil that's trying to manifest with the magician this new phase of your life with the world in the high priestess. See? See? That's why it's important. Princess of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, repeat, right? Uh, Prince, Princess of Pentacles in reverse. Princess of Wands in reverse. So this is a lack of desire, a lack of um, initiation, uh, resentment with the Five of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles. It says, take a step back, reevaluate how you're going about things here, just like the Double Devils in reverse. A release of limiting beliefs. I'm right, you're wrong, you're an asshole, I don't want you in my life, I cut you out of my life because you're toxic, and that's all fine and dandy. We should separate ourselves from toxic people and as you grow spiritually it comes naturally it just does your frequency just repels their frequency however there is a soul tie in this whole situation that needs to be taken into consideration all right nine of wands uh fight the good fight right put in some effort fight the good fight and clean this out nine of cups Wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, satisfaction, the star in reverse. Avoiding this situation is not the way that you're going to get that. Three of Pentacles in reverse. Um, this is uh, being angry because, or, or not angry, having angst because of some kind of lack of effort or lack of participation from this person at some point. The Ace of Cups. Um, this is your love for this person. And this is also, again, about your emotional growth, right? It's seeing that it's not necessarily just the, just the way. It's not only the way that you saw it. It's not, there, there's more to it than that. And maybe when this happened, you were not as spiritually mature as you are now. And maybe it's time to take a step back and reevaluate from a new perspective. Okay? All right. Uh, not doing it, Prince of Wands in reverse, unmet expectations over and over and over again. Three of Swords in reverse says, come to terms with this. The Moon in reverse says, see the truth of the situation. You can see the truth of it. So you can have a narcissist for a mother and be able to maneuver that relationship in such a way that you can maintain your boundaries but still be connected okay but still be connected okay and and how would you do that well that's seeing things for what they are right what makes some kind of out of control person or a narcissist or an emotionally codependent person right i mean the empress in reverse is about dependency okay so codependent you might have someone that's codependent that just sucks the life out of you okay all right 
uh, how can you have that relationship? Well, you can see it for what it is, right? If you're walking through the woods and you're looking down at the ground and you see this really cool stick, right? And you go down to pick it up, but it turns out to be a snake actually. And you go, whoa, right? You didn't know it wasn't a snake until you went to go pick it up. But now that you know that it's a snake, you're not going to pick it up, right? Same thing. Don't have expectations about what this person's relationship in your life should be. Do not expect them to be anything other than what you have already experienced with them. That way, you're not holding hope that this person is changing and growing and seeing the error of their ways. No, you take it at face value, straight up face value. This is who you've always been, and this is who you will be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you're not going to be hurt in the relationship again if you don't expect this person to be something that they are incapable of being to you. Okay? All right. All right. That's all in the moon in reverse. <laughs> the high priest is healing, healing and in your best interest. Your soul, your intuition in the high priestess will always only lead you to your best and highest good every single time, all the time. Okay, this is about healing. It's about leveling up in your spirituality. It's about it's about the whole everything that I just talked about. The Hierophant in reverse talks about kind of like the devil in reverse. It's kind of a reevaluation of what you believe about something. And the Hierophant in reverse is asking you to reevaluate what you truly believe. Remember a while ago I said maybe you were less grown back then than you are now and now that you've gone through this own metamorphosis in your life um, you can now reevaluate the whole situation from a completely different perspective because now hopefully you're living more by your soul's understanding and not just by your flesh and bone experience okay so reevaluate queen of cups in reverse hurt feelings hurt hurt feelings Two of Wands in reverse, you can't build your future like this. You can't. The King of Swords, you got to drop it down. You got to drop it down, draw a line in the sand and say, hey, 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 hey. No, this is what happened. I understand why it happened. I understand the dynamics of the situation. I'm looking at things from a disconnected, surreal perspective and I'm watching it play out and I'm like, oh yeah, you know what? Her mama and her mama before her and her mama before her and her mama before her. Unhealed, unhealed, unhealed. She's unhealed. So just accept it. Okay? King of Swords, dropping down the decision, Knight of Wands, and taking some inspired action towards the situation. Ace of Swords, bottom of the deck. Aha, epiphany moments. Eight of Swords in the upright, you um, locked in your mind, right? The Tower in reverse, let's let that go a little bit. Let that go, Seven of Cups, and think about things in a different way. The King of Pentacles to the Princess of Cups, this is to the world in reverse, the Seven of Wands and the Ten of Wands in reverse. Okay, got it. Uh, let me just ask a question right here. So the King of Pentacles... To the princess of cups the page of swords okay so this is you doing the right thing you as the king of pentacles upright in the energy of the king of pentacles right integritous doing the right thing kind of person this king of pentacles is princess of cups offering an olive branch page of swords a small message of some sort okay um that's you doing the right thing right? Ten of Wands in reverse, not avoiding responsibility anymore. Seven of Wands, um, not trying to escape from it anymore. And the world in reverse. Um, just know that until you take care of this particular situation, and you know, no harm, no foul. No harm, no foul. Nobody's going to be mad at you if you don't make amends with your mom, at least within yourself. But... This rotten spot inside of you will always be there and it will 
go with you wherever you go. So it's best, according to the advice of these cards, it's in your best interest and in your highest good to clean this out once and for all. Maybe speak your piece, like I said, kindly, compassionately, educatedly, and calmly. Speak your piece and be done with it. It's not up for conversation. It's not up for argument. It's not up for negotiation. This is where I stand and this is where I shall remain standing. You can go do whatever you want to do, but this is where I stand. Okay? I hope that helps someone. Check out my book, Who Do You Think You Are? It is the ultimate guide to shed your skin and awaken your soul. Links are in the description box below. And if you want your cards read, you can hit me up at thepathofpurpose.org. Who do you think you are? A step-by-step -step guide to shed your skin and awaken your soul. Who do you think you are and why? Despite what you've been told and despite what you may believe about yourself, you are important, your existence has meaning, and your life has purpose. Let me show you how to find the ancient soul buried beneath your expectations and society's labels. Let's explore your true self, who you are at your core, to live a peaceful and meaningful life. We will walk through the concepts of spiritual growth and prepare you for the path ahead, your true purpose, with self-paced, step-by-step guidance to unbox your mind and free your soul. Walk with me through the journey of spiritual awakening with thought-provoking insight that will challenge everything you think you know about the who, what, where, when, and why of this crazy thing called life. Life doesn't have to be a struggle. There is a better way, and your truth will set you free. This book is available as a paperback on Amazon, an ebook on Kindle, and an unofficial Audible version on Gumroad. All of the links are in the box below. Namaste.